In organic chemistry, you rank molecules by acidity. Now, what if we want to do the opposite, where we rank them by basicity? Well, this is just one of those examples, where we're going to rank each of these molecules by their basicity. Now, from ranking acidity, we know that this, the acidity is based off the stability of the conjugate. It's basically, what it means is like if the molecule's resonance stabilizes like these, or if it has the inductive effect, it makes it more acidic. Now, what about the other way around? Well, if it's more basic or less basic, it has to do with how stable it currently is. So what we're going to do is look at each of these molecules and see, all right, how are we going to rank these? So let's look at resonance. So if we look at each of these molecules, resonance, we don't have it on these three molecules, but we do on these two. Now, what about periodic or inductive effect? Let's put about inductive effect. So there's nothing over here, but we have it on only this molecule. So we looked at those two things. Now, we already know because of resonance and inductive effect that this is the currently most stable molecule. Uh, the negative charge can travel between these two oxygens and this fluorine is helping by taking away that negative charge by pulling it towards itself through that electronegativity. So since this is technically the most stable molecule, this would be the least basic because adding a hydrogen would not only remove that negative charge but also create a partial positive on the carbon and the oxygen because of the fluorine. So we're going to keep this at number five. Now, none of these have resonance except for this one. So this one must come in four. So now we're just left with the oxygen and negative charge, a carbon with a negative charge, and a nitrogen with a negative charge. Now, how do we compare these? Well, by periodic trends, which one is more electronegative? So we know that oxygen is more electronegative than nitrogen, which is more electronegative than carbon. So that means if we have a negative charge on an oxygen, it can handle it better than a nitrogen with a negative charge, and that can handle it better than a carbon with a negative charge. See, carbon wants to have four bonds and does not want a negative charge. So it's extremely unstable. So that makes this the most basic because it wants to abstract the hydrogen. It wants to get rid of that negative charge instantly. And then right after that comes nitrogen. Nitrogen doesn't want that negative charge. It's more electronegative than carbon, but it's definitely not enough to the point where it's more than oxygen. So this would be the second most basic. And that makes this methoxide ion, the th or ethoxide ion, the third most basic. So that's how you rank by basicity. So it's essentially the opposite of ranking acidity.